Today, let's have a look at 5 most bizarre, crazy and weird art pieces, sold for huge money. Number 1. The Comedian A few years ago, an Italian art prankster called Maurizio Catalan, created a curious art piece at Gallery Paraton in Miami. This was nothing, but a banana he bought from a supermarket, duct taped to the wall of the gallery and passed of as an art piece. Now, before you laugh this off as ridiculous, you need to know that two versions of this artwork were sold for $120,000 each, and the artist set the price for the third one as $150,000. Sadly enough or as part of an art stunt, another artist called David Datuna came to the gallery, took the banana off the wall and ate it in front of stunned onlookers. It was not an act of vandalism, he said, but the appreciation for the artwork. Crazy, right? Imagine when he shits the next day, his shit will be worth $120,000 the most expensive shit in the world. Well, who is going to buy shit, anyway? If you are thinking so, you are utterly mistaken, because shit sells for big money. Number 2. Artist Shit. In 1961, Italian artist Piero Manzoni, canned 30 grams of his shit in 90 tin cans and sold them as artworks. He considered it as a connection between art and human production. At the time, he sold these cans for $37 a piece, but in 2007, Sotheby's auctioned one such can at a whopping sum of 124,000 euro. Number 3. Piss Christ. After shit, this is the turn of piss. In 1987, an American photographer and artist, Andres Serrano was commissioned by National Endowment for the Arts to create an artwork and he created Piss Christ. This was nothing but the photograph of a plastic crucifix immersed in artist's piss. This photo even won a prestigious award. But Serrano also found himself in some controversy for defiling a holy object like a crucifix and something unholy like piss. But controversy or not, he walked away with a cool $15,000 at the time. Number 4. My Bed by Tracy Emin. Around 1998, British artist Tracy Emin went through a bad breakup, and she spent days in bed, depressed and not getting up. When she eventually got up, she exhibited her messy bed as an art piece in Tate Gallery, as one of the selected works for Turner Prize. The bed consisted of daily objects like a condom, slippers, underwear with menstrual stains, and human fluids etc. Ridiculous, right? But in the bizarre world of art, nothing is crazy as long as you are at the right place at the right time with a silly idea. Charles Saatchi of Saatchi Gallery bought the bed for $150,000, and exhibited in Saatchi Gallery in London. When auctioned by Christie's in July 2014, the piece was sold for a little over $2.5 million. Number 5. Shark in a Tank The most controversial piece of art in this list, and the only one that makes some sense, Damien Hirst's Shark in a Tank, titled The Physical Impossibility of Death in the Mind of Someone Living, is stunning in its appearance, and somewhat profound in its meaning, yet ridiculous for the money paid by buyers for the same. In 1991, Charles Saatchi funded an artwork by Damien, and let him choose any theme for this art. Hearst commissioned a fisherman to catch a shark big enough to eat him. The man caught a giant tiger shark from Queensland, Australia. The shark was brought to the gallery and preserved in formaldehyde in a tank. Due to poor preservation by the gallery, the dead shark began to disintegrate. When Stephen A. Cohen wanted to buy the artwork in 2004, Hearst convinced him to replace the shark for a fresh one, to which Cohen agreed readily. The restoration cost was $100,000. But, according to Cohen, the expense was inconsequential considering the importance of artwork. And he paid $12 million for the artwork. So, when you have insane amounts of money, what do you do? You spend it on piss, shit, or dead body, and after a few years you sell these for even bigger amounts, and voila you are even richer. Well, did you enjoy that story? If so, why don't you like and follow our page for more such fun stories?